Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to keep your glass as slick as my new haircut. All right guys, thanks for joining me on another episode of Parker's Reefs. I'm gonna keep this one pretty short and simple today, but uh, I've seen quite a lot of people, particularly newbies, but even some more experienced people in the hobby, talking about ways to keep their glass as clean as possible. And um, it's one of those things that's not always as obvious as it seems at first. Of course, you've got um, your magnet cleaner, which everyone is familiar with, and that's totally fine. I like to use the old style Flipper Max with the little uh, float attachment. I find that it's much narrower than the new ones, which not that I have any issues at this stage with uh, corals growing close to the glass, but uh, the super slim profile, whilst also still being a float type magnet cleaner, is super handy. While I've released the magnet there, I should show you the key that you don't just put your magnet back there. Now it's floated away from the glass. I actually like to keep the magnet a bit off to the side so that it doesn't just slam on your glass and that it gently comes back in. So you take it out and then you just bring it in to the side, let the magnet come in a little bit softer than uh, just straight bang onto it. Now obviously when you're cleaning your glass, I like to go on a downwards motion just so I can see when that blade gets close to the sand and then just ease up so that you're not pushing sand everywhere and also risking getting a bit of sand between uh, your magnets there. Then you can go a little bit faster. Ease when you come up off the sand. You can go a bit faster, come down again. Ease when you get close to the sand. With the blade, I don't mind pushing into the sand a little bit, totally fine. Now that part's pretty obvious, right? But one tip I do like to share with people is that the best way to see if you've cleaned the inside of your glass is to look from the side of the panel. When you come down here, and you look, you can actually see where you've cleaned much better than when you can looking straight on it, particularly if your glass isn't that dirty. If you're as crazy as I am, and I like to clean my glass every couple of days, before it really gets out of hand, it can be a little bit hard to see where you've cleaned from the front only. So when you look down the side of the panel, you'll get a much better view. All right, the inside of the glass is pretty easy. What about the outside of the glass? And it's one of those things that uh, your magnet cleaner's got that uh, little foam pad on it and that will tend to do a decent job of keeping the outside of your glass clean. But as soon as you get any tank water on there, it's just gonna smudge and give you this, uh, this little patch that you can see that your magnet cleaner is not gonna pick up. Now, sometimes they're obvious. I've got one up here that looks like a handprint or something. Maybe someone's gone to look at a fish and put the hand on there and got the mark there, but sometimes they're not that obvious. And I find the best way to identify these marks when they're, um, well, the best way to identify these marks is actually to kneel down and look up at your glass while the, uh, while the lights are on. I find if you kneel down, you'll be able to see all of the spots. And I've got a big one here where there's been a bit of water dribbled down. Now, you can see it front on, but because of the white of the sand, it's not quite as obvious. As soon as you kneel down and look up, you can see those marks really bad. So I'll get the camera in so you can have a look at that. All right, now once you've identified where some of those little watermarks or spots are on your tank, I must admit, I used to just use the cheap old uh, microfiber cloth that I picked up from Bunnings, but recently I was sent from a uh, new business in, uh, in Melbourne, Scuffed Fish Tank. They have these purpose-made aquarium cleaning towels, and I have to admit, I was thinking it's probably just a rebranded microfiber towel, until I got my hands on one, and I've been using this one for a month now, and I must admit, I'm quite impressed. It, um, it's almost, it, it is microfiber, but it's a different feel to the uh, cheap Bunnings one. It's sort of almost a mix between a microfiber and a uh, chamois. Anyway, it does the job really good. It's also got this handy carabiner, so if you're uh, working at your tank, you can uh, clip that onto one of your uh, little belt buckle, or belt holes, and you've always got it with you. You don't have to worry about trying to fit it in your pocket. If you're working on the tank, you can quickly grab the towel, wipe your hands, good to go. But it's not about clipping to your shorts, it's about cleaning the glass. So depending on the water spot, you can either just wipe it straight off. Again, I like to kneel down so I can see what I'm doing. Or if it's a really stubborn one, you can give it a spray. This one's coming up fine just by giving it a wipe. I'll get the camera in so you can see. You see this one's just gonna wipe off without needing any water. Beautiful. All right, now should the water spot stain be pretty stubborn, I don't know if you've got uh, some fish food or something on there and a simple wipe isn't getting enough, 
Don't be tempted to spray a glass cleaner on it, guys. The chemicals are not good. Grab yourself a spray bottle that you just put RO in. If you really, really need to put something in there, give it a little splash of vinegar, which won't harm your, harm your tank at all. But personally, I find a little bit of RO will get more than enough of your stains off. Try to be pretty sparing with water. Give it a little spray like that. Grab your scuffed fish tank towel. Make sure you've got the carabiner if it's still on there. Keep that in your hand. Give it a wipe off. That panel's gonna be beautifully clean. All right, the last trick in my arsenal, which I'm only gonna talk about, I'm not actually gonna show you today because I'm deliberately keeping my back wall covered in algae just to make sure that my snails have got plenty of food source at the moment. I use these continuum long handled blades. I just find it's much, much easier to clean the back wall when you get to it from the front and you can just reef away like that. I must admit, I do wish this is the long one. I wish they made one even longer than this because um, leverage is a beast. <laughs> <laughs> I just wish I could have one that was out about that far and I could just really get on my platform at the front here and just scrape that uh, back wall. Again, I find the best way to check where you've cleaned the back wall is actually to look from the side. So much easier than looking from the front. It seems to disguise the, uh, the, the, the algae and things growing in the back wall. But as soon as you look from the side of the tank, you get a really good visual of where you've cleaned and where you haven't. But um, like I said, I'm not actually going to do that today. All right, guys, I'll finish today's video off there. Quick shout out to Scuffed Fish Tank. They sent me this towel to review and um, I must admit, I'm pretty pleased with it. They sell these guys for 10 bucks each plus $10 postage. So if you wanna go in with a couple mates, make the postage worth your while, get a few of these towels down there. It's really not that expensive when we're talking, you know, like $150 magnet cleaners and stuff like that. Upgrade from your $2 microfiber, get something designed for the job. It's got some pretty handy little features. Like I said, that carabiner clip, it's quite a large size towel and it's just that really nice soft feel. that's not gonna scratch your tank. It does a really good job of absorbing the water rather than just spreading it around. So the guys at Scuffed Fish Tank have given me two of these to give away. I'm gonna give one of them away to any one of the viewers and another one to just one of my members and we've currently got 20 members. So you're in luck guys, you've got a one in 20 chance of winning this towel. Just pop in the uh, comment section what type of tank you would clean with your scuffed fish tank towel and um, I'll be sure to uh, pick two winners at random and post them off to you. If you are unlucky and you don't win, you can pick these towels up, like I said, for 10 bucks each at scuffedfishtank.com. Check it out there, I'll put the link in the uh, description down below. Check them out, they do a good job. I like to support local businesses, so um, get on their website and purchase up guys. All right, I'll leave it at that. If you have any other questions, comments, feedback, pop it in the comment section down below. If you've got any tips on how you like to clean your glass, I'd love to hear it. So uh, don't be afraid. Give me your tips in the comments down below. As always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Last but not least, if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. It costs you no money. Take two seconds of your time. Hit that subscribe button down in the bottom corner. It'll go a long way to helping me out. Thanks, guys. Till next time, stay safe. Keep reefing. Bye.